It was a lot of moments where I wanted to die. Yeah, and I thought I just wanted to. I just didn't want to wake up. Alnita Smiley was living in poverty. Her mom was in prison. Her dad had signed away his custody. At 14 years old, she was without a home. I didn't have anywhere to go. So it started with her doing these invitations. It started with her just telling me to just kind of come along with her. She, like, has sex for money. Her friend was named Brandy. Brandy had a, quote, boyfriend. He collected money that was thrown at them. She was recruiting. He was making the money. But then Brandy invited Anita on a road trip. She said no. And when I didn't do the Wake of the Ozarks trip, I never heard from her again. She didn't call me. She didn't take it. There was nothing. Um, but as I look back, she was scouting. By the time I had cut my wrist over and over and over, and I just never could get it right. I just couldn't quite just die. Um, and I remember crying, and I remember God saying that he had a plan for me. And ever since then, I've been like... a turning point where I said I needed to find why I was alive because I just couldn't quite die. In that moment, I figured it out. Alnita realized things weren't right. She reached out to the police. They immediately put her in touch with Crisis Aid International. Cindy Mallet is the group's director of advocacy services. They help place victims in safe homes all over the country. We provide boxes of food, I think over 4,000, so they would have food to get by, trying to help them to avoid having to feel like their only option was to go back into a really horrific, abusive, dangerous situation. 2020's shelter-in-place orders opened the door for Internet predators. Calls to the National Trafficking Hotline increased 45%. Because traffickers prey on those who are vulnerable, those who are less likely to have access to good jobs or educational opportunities, who are less likely to be treated as equal by police or the justice system, and who are less likely to be believed when they report that they're being targeted or abused. Mallet says COVID has forced some to return to a society they tried so hard to escape. The vast majority of them were reliant on service industry jobs, restaurant jobs. Suddenly, most of that was taken away. The only thing you know to survive um, is something that you know is dangerous and could take your life. Aid groups have turned to people they know well, people they've helped in the past, people like Alnita. She has since graduated with a master's degree in social work. She has become the voice for so many that were afraid to come forward. So many of us are scared to talk, and I'm not. You know, and I just want to be the voice for people who still sit quietly in the corner because they're scared or because they're embarrassed or because they think nobody will believe them. That's who I'm speaking for. In Clayton, Missouri, I'm Matt Pearl.